Have you ever wondered how HIV really begins in the human body? Many people think it's just caught during sex, but the truth is far more complex, and understanding it could be the difference between fear, stigma, and real knowledge. Today, I'll explain HIV like a doctor teaching a patient, clearly, simply, and without leaving anything out. What exactly is HIV? HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. It's not just one disease, it's a virus that attacks a very specific part of your immune system, the CD for T cells, the commanders of your defense army. Think of your immune system as a military base. White blood cells are the soldiers. CD for cells are the generals who give orders. When HIV enters your body, it goes directly for those generals, silently taking them out. Without enough CD for cells, your immune system can't coordinate its army, and even small infections can become deadly. How does HIV enter the body? The virus needs a way into your bloodstream. It cannot pass through skin, casual touch, or air. It spreads through. Number 1. Unprotected sex. HIV lives in sexual fluids like semen, vaginal fluid, rectal fluid. During unprotected intercourse, tiny tears in the lining of the vagina, anus, or penis allow HIV to slip into the bloodstream. For example, if one person is infected and has a high viral load, and the other has unprotected sex with them, the virus can move into the uninfected partner's bloodstream through microscopic cuts. Number to blood to blood contact. Shearing needles, syringes, or medical tools without sterilization. HIV can be transmitted directly when infected blood enters another person's blood. Number 3. Mother to child. During pregnancy, childbirth, or breastfeeding. If the mother is not on treatment, the virus can cross into the baby's bloodstream. Number 4. Rare cases. Transfusions with infected blood very rare today due to screening. Here is an important clarification. HIV does not spread through casual contact, kissing, sharing utensils, mosquito bites, or touching. How does HIV start inside the body after transmission? Imagine you have unprotected sex with someone who is HIV positive. What happens next? Number 1 Entry Point The virus crosses into the bloodstream through micro tears in mucous membranes. Number 2 Targeting CD for cells HIV uses special keys on its surface called GP1 to O proteins to attach to CD for receptors on your immune cells. Number 3 Invasion the virus injects its genetic material RNA into the CD for cell. Number for hijacking the cell. HIV carries an enzyme called reverse transcriptase. This converts viral RNA into DNA and forces the CD for cell to start producing new HIV particles instead of defending your body. Number 5 Explosion Thousands of new viruses burst out of the CD for cell killing it, and go on to infect new cells. This is why HIV is so dangerous. It turns your own defense cells into a factory for making more virus. Stages of HIV infection. HIV doesn't cause AIDS overnight. There are stages. Acute HIV infection first two to six weeks. Right after infection, HIV multiplies rapidly. Many people get flu-like symptoms, fever, sore throat, swollen glands, body aches. This is when HIV is most contagious because the viral load is sky high. Clinical latency years of silence. After the first battle, HIV enters a quieter phase. The person may look and feel completely healthy. But inside, HIV continues slowly destroying CD for cells. This stage can last 5 to 10 years without treatment. AIDS acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. When CD for count falls below 200 cells, L, the immune system collapses. Opportunistic infections like TB, pneumonia, fungal infections take over. Without treatment, AIDS is fatal. Common myths about HIV. You can catch HIV from kissing gives false. Saliva is not carried enough virus to infect. Mosquitoes spread HIV gives false. The virus cannot survive or replicate inside insects. Only gay people get HIV gives false. Anyone, regardless of gender or sexuality, can get HIV through exposure.
How HIV is diagnosed. Doctors test for HIV in the blood. Antibody tests detect the body's immune response to 2 12 weeks after infection. Antigen antibody tests detect HIV itself earlier 10 to 30 days after exposure. PCR test looks for the virus's genetic material directly. HIV treatment not a cure, but control. Right now, there is no complete cure, but ARC antiretroviral therapy changes everything. ARC combines different drugs that stop HIV at different steps. Entry inhibitors block HIV from attaching to CD4 cells. Reverse transcriptase inhibitors block HIV from converting RNA to DNA. Integrase inhibitors stop HIV DNA from entering your cell's DNA. Protease inhibitors stop new HIV from maturing. When taken consistently, ART lowers viral load to undetectable levels, restores CD4 counts, prevents progression to AIDS, makes transmission nearly impossible U equals U, undetectable equals untransmittable, prevention of HIV. Condoms, correct and consistent use is highly effective. PrEP pre-exposure prophylaxis, a daily pill for high-risk people. PEP post-exposure prophylaxis, emergency medication within 72 hours of exposure. Safe needle practices, HIV testing and awareness. Living with HIV today. With proper treatment, people with HIV can live long, healthy lives often just as long as people without HIV. They can work, marry, have children, and live normally. The key is early diagnosis and lifelong treatment. So, what's the takeaway? HIV is not a curse. It's a virus and science has learned how to fight it. The danger is not the virus itself anymore, but fear, stigma, and lack of awareness. The earlier you test, the earlier you treat, and the longer and healthier you live. If you'd like a detailed version of this video, where I'll break down every section step by step, from what art is and how it works, to the different HIV tests like antibody, antigen, and PCR, and even the stages of HIV, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to make a full, in-depth video just for you.